Hellfire is not a place you'd want to be at. I mean, it's too hot over there, man. Did you know that there are many things you and I might be doing on a regular basis that are considered to be tickets to Hellfire? So I'd recommend you watch this video and share it with friends and family so they can all benefit, inshallah. Alright, so let's start with ticket number one to Hellfire. Riba. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has clearly forbidden riba in Surah Al-Baqarah. He said, Allah has permitted trading and forbidden riba. So what does riba mean? Riba can be done in many ways. For example, let's say this is Ahmed and this is Mustafa. Mustafa needs 100 bucks to buy a new phone. So I'll tell him, okay, listen, I'll give you 100 now. And once you save some money, you'll have to pay me 120. Now, this is just an example, but guess what? About 90% of people watching me right now bought their houses or their cars or their furniture that way. And that's haram. Ticket number two, slandering a person or accusing them of committing zina. Now Allah said in Surah An-Nur that anyone who accuses a chaste woman without bringing four witnesses, this person should be given 80 lashes. That's how serious this is. And trust me, many, 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 many Muslim men do that right now without realizing how great this sin is. And by the way, according to scholars, this verse applies to both men and women. Not just women. Alright, ticket number three to hellfire is shirk. Now shirk means associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course you're thinking, well I know that's haram already. I mean, why are you telling me this? Well guess what? Many people commit shirk without realizing that they're doing it. And if they died right now, they will die on a state of shirk. May Allah protect us. For example, there are many Muslims who go to graves of righteous people or the prophets and start supplicating to them and start touching their graves so they can be blessed or whatever and that's completely haram you're associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without realizing and the second type are the ones who swear by other than Allah for example they swear by the Prophet and in Islam swearing is permissible but only by the name of Allah not by the name of Prophet Muhammad and that's something many people do especially in Egypt Ticket number four to Hellfire, Islam is not a buffet where you can pick whatever appeals to you and abandon the rest. Remember, Islam means submission. So if you're a Muslim, you gotta submit to whatever Allah and His Messenger command you to do. If the Prophet commanded you to grow your beard, then you have to grow it. If you have to wear the hijab in a certain manner and shouldn't wear makeup with the mahrams, then you have to do it. This is our religion. You have to accept it. And finally, ticket number 5 to Hellfire, and this is the most important thing, praying your Salat. Do you know how dangerous abandoning your Salat is? At the Prophet's time, when a Muslim didn't give charity, for example, they would say, oh, he might be poor. If he didn't fast in Ramadan, they would say, oh, he might be sick or traveling. But if he doesn't pray, they would think that he's not a Muslim. And remember this, the very first thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask you about on the Day of Judgment, will be your Salat. Now, imagine yourself standing there right now before Allah and telling Him, well, you know, I didn't pray because I was on Instagram or I was on Snapchat or was working in my temporary life. I didn't give 25 minutes of my day to Allah to thank Him for whatever He gave me. Well, guess what? You have to make it up. And trust me, Hellfire is not a place you'd want to visit or see or even hear. So you decide. Assalamu alaikum. ولي طوق نجا